because I heard that this place is um, a home for Buddhists, so it's an advantage, yeah, sure. Changing the narratives with Mr. B. How are you doing? I'm fine. It's and good you? to meet you. Thank you. Uh, you look great. Thank you. Oh, please, uh, I'm going to just ask you one or two questions okay. during this interview. We're just doing this to educate our people out there. Okay. And uh, before I turn back to you to introduce yourself to the audience, uh, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all, my great viewers. The present place you are watching us from. We are back again with another episode of this program, Changing the Narratives, saying it the way it is in the city of Rome. We have our big brother here, all the way from Sierra Leone, right? Sierra Leone, yeah. Sierra Leone, yeah. In the city of Rome, we are just going to be sharing from his experience, life experience, right from his country to this very place, just to also educate you the way things are going here in Italy. Please, uh, as we do say, before we turn to him to introduce himself, we ask you to please stay tight to the end of this video. Just as we do say, we do reserve the best for the end. And you can get it out all if you wait to the end. Please, without wasting much of your time, let us talk to our brother as we give him time to introduce himself. Can you just introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, my name is Al Hassan Kate. I'm from Sierra Leone. Okay. I've been here, uh, let me say, like um, almost three years now. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, if I may ask, uh, before you came here, like, uh, what were you doing in your country? Well, I was doing modeling at the same time. I was having my own shop. Okay. Where I sell um, shoes or something like, just now about modeling, modeling, dress, everything. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's your appearance. <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. So, why did you decide to leave all those things and uh, come back to this place? Yeah, it's because of the, um, the advantage in the Western world, you know. Okay. It's different from... The place I came from now, from let me say in Africa, is different. Okay. That's why I decided to at least the talent I have, and I I have to move from that place to here because I see that it might be more relevant for me to leave that place okay. down to here. All so, right. Okay. Because I heard that this place is um, a home for models, so oh. it's an advantage. Yeah, sure. Uh, truly, yeah. Italy is a, is a place of fashion. Sure, and models. sure. Yeah. Okay. So since you came here these two years now that you spent here. Have um, you been able to figure yourself out in that field of your career? Yeah, sure. I've been to um, some agencies, you know, but I even spoke with some online. I even been to Milan that they say is like a town of uh, modeling. Yeah. I went there, I spoke with some people, but uh, they say I have to go through an agency, you know, before they can at least see what I, I have to offer, you understand? Yeah. But it's not easy nowadays to go through all these things. And for me, before sitting at home, like waiting for these opportunities, I have to do something at least to uplift myself from, yeah. So I decided to start working, going to school at the same time, so to get things okay for me. Okay. Like your main purpose of living for this Italy, just for this uh, modern stuff, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, because I've been to um, Switzerland, but I left and even to France. I, I, I see that maybe Italy, been to Italy is an advantage for me again because I speak like um, almost seven countries, uh, seven languages. So I, have, I want to add the Italian language to my languages, you know. I think that would be an advantage for me, you know, yeah. to move freely in the, um, in the world of modeling, okay. to understand each other. So, yeah. Like what, what language do you speak? I speak like English, French, and I can speak again Italian because okay. I've stayed there for so many years now so several years okay. like almost three years now okay. i can speak the bambara but that is uh the mali okay i can speak malinke i can speak again Creole. you know i'm from Sierra Leone, so i can okay. speak Creole. okay they're almost like seven 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 different that countries that is great yeah. that is great okay now that you are here now you you tried because this model of stuff i believe that is basically in the brand sure these are like a gucci or those stuff or armani or stuff and I think I've seen a lot of, I come across a lot of Africans who are already into stuff. Yeah, but before going to all this, uh, I'm a, you, just, you can't just wake up and go to the store and say, I'm a model, you okay. need to endorse me. No, you have to go through an agency. Okay. Maybe if they want, they need a model, they will go through that agency to say, yeah, see, we need this uh, oh. mo uh, model for this. Yeah, it's just like that. You know, okay. they can't just see you on the street and say, hey, you are a model, so we need it for this one. It's not possible. You have to go through an agency. It's a process. It's not like Africa, you know. I've been to several countries in Africa, more than almost 12 countries, you know, modeling and all these stuff, you know. Mm. In Africa, it's more easy. 
Okay. You understand? But here is um, it's a process. Oh. It's different. Okay. Yeah. Not that it's not possible. It's, just it's a, possible. A yeah, it's just a process. Yeah, and time and the patience. So. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Like what you were expecting that as when you were in Nigeria towards this model of stuff uh, when you were still back home. Yeah. Uh, as you came here, was there any disappointment to it? A, a little bit of disappointment because um, one, we have the, the, the language difference. Okay. That is um, something that really difficult when I came here. Okay. Because um, again, the process here is different again from the process in Africa. Because Africa is more easy. Here the process is very difficult. And you have to go through all this process before you get a set in. That's the difficulties, yeah. Okay, now, so, uh, so far now, what, what, what is your mind now, now that it's not just yet forthcoming? So what is your, your mind towards this now? What do you feel? No, I have uh, a belief that everything is possible. Okay. So you can't say that I, I have passion for this thing that it does not happen now. That means it can't be happen. No, okay. it's just the process and the patient and just believe in what you do. That's the only thing, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I believe. Just believe. Okay. Like people who are back in Africa right now, still having this kind of passion, it might not be a model, yeah. it might be in another different field entirely. Okay, like from what you have experienced so far, will you encourage such a person to also take a leap and uh, go for their dream by crossing over the board to this Western world? Yeah, I can't discourage anyone, you understand? Everybody has his own different talents, you know? Right. So. No matter how you can make it from Africa to Europe, if you have the chance to do it, whether by um, flight, any process, at least, just um, go for your dream. Maybe you can be in Africa, some people can achieve their dream in Africa, it's possible 100%, but some people, their dreams normally die in Africa. Yeah, because of the, um, the way our situation is, the way our process is going, everything is down you understand so if you have um like a talent if you have the opportunity to move to the western world yeah you, that is yes. that more profitable sure. here. more 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 hundred percent yeah hundred mm. percent okay sure. like what would be your final word now right i don't know before you give your final word of advice to everybody yeah. are you into any social media handle or which anybody can find you out yeah sure sure okay i have you can easily um, give it out if you want to okay uh, i'm alasan Al keta on facebook okay. and uh, in Instagram, um, Keta Fashion Model. Instagram on Instagram, yeah. Okay, repeat it again so that I get you. Keta right. Fashion Model on Instagram. Instagram, Facebook. Al Hassan Keta. Al Hassan Keta. Yeah. All right, please, uh, fans, fan him out and also support him. Support him also equally me supporting us. And uh, God bless you. And please, can you just have a final word of advice to those people who are still very, very interested of uh, searching their dream life? outside their own country, especially the, the continent of Africa? What would be yeah. your advice to them? Uh, my only advice is that um, what you know doing best, just uh, put the effort, you understand, and believe in what you are doing. In, even in Africa, just have the hope and the courage and even the belief. Okay. That's all about it. Just be good at what you are doing. Don't be discouraged about your situation or the present situation of your country. Everything will be okay and just believe in yourself. That's all. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a great time with you. Thank you. We'll never take this time for granted. Yeah, sure. And I will wish you the best. And I, I pray that the next time we meet, you will be a brand ambassador of Gucci. I believe if not that. For, if possible, Amen. Armani and Gucci at the same time. By God's grace. Yeah, Thank sure. you so much. Thank you. God bless you.